Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel IT Pro Teams. Today I would like to uh, help you to understand how to deploy Microsoft Intra Domain Services. Uh, so if you if you really not interested in Active Directory as a server services, in that case how you can deploy uh, Microsoft Entra ID as a service in um, Azure. So uh, when we are talking about Entra ID, it's basically a service and when we are deploying this service, by default Microsoft will deploy to virtual machine in the background for your uh, Entra. So there are three types of version available uh, for Entra uh, domain services, standard, enterprise and premium. But in this particular video, I will help you to set up a new intra domain services. So currently, uh, let's uh, talk about what we have in the setups. So we have an Active Directory uh, domain services as of now installed in this machine. It's a domain controller. <clears throat> So this IT Pro Teams is a domain controller. It has some users, some OUs, uh, some groups, all these things. And this Active Directories, and uh, as you can see that AD Connect is installed, and this Active Directory is already synced to, synced to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, sync to my Office 365 services, or you can call it an Entra ID. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, these accounts, you can see them. They are synced from my on-prem, and some of accounts are my cloud only. So now, what we are going to do, uh, we will uh, try to deploy uh, Entra domain services. For that, we will log into portal.azure.com you need to have a valid subscription with you right and a virtual network with you so currently i do have a existing virtual network this is iit pro teams vnet and if you can see this vnet has a uh, ip address range which start with 10 series right so we'll go back to the home and we can search here, right? Intra domain, Microsoft Intra domain services. So currently, as you can see that there is no domain services deployed here. We click on the create. Then we have select the subscription that we have. So we can go and choose if we have a existing resource group or otherwise you can create a resource group. The next thing that it will ask you what would be the domain name that you want to use for it. If you already uh, mapped a domain name, you can see the domain name here. Currently, uh, this is syncing from my Instra tenant, right? This tenant, and if you can go to this tenant, under the settings, under the domain, I have not added any domains. So by default, this is the name. And that's the reason it automatically picked that name. But if you have a custom domain, you can choose that. So by default, the reason where you want to deploy and type of option that you want to choose. So uh, we try to use uh, enterprise because it provides two VMs in the background and uh, 10,000 objects can be authenticated and that is uh, sufficient uh, and it also provides the sync facilities. So click next. Now it will ask you, do you have a virtual network? Yes, we do have a virtual network, right? Subnet it automatically take, right? So you can choose the subnet also, but if you want, it will create its own subnet, but if you want to choose, <clears throat> now here you can see who can manage this intra connect. So all the global administrators or members of AADDC administrator groups. Right. If you want to add any other, you can go and add it. 
so I I am using administrator so that's not an issue for me and if you want to add a membership you can go here let's suppose I want to add a custom user here I do have a IT users I can search it here <coughs> I want to give permissions to this user I can select it and then I will close it it will show it here click next so now it will ask you how you want to sync the object you want to sync the object cloud only if you are already using intra ID then you can select this option but if you have a sync identity then you have to select the option all you can also filter certain group that you want to sync but for now you want to select users and others by default you can see there are lots of setting it will support TLS 1.2 and TLM authentication is by default disabled password synchronization options right LDAP options Kerberos options so keep it default click next right click next now you can see the name of your domain, the subscription, the resource group, the reason, the type of services, the virtual network information, the administrator that you want to create, right? Uh, the notification settings, synchronization settings, all these settings that you are checking it, you can check it here. What is the security feature is enabled, which are disabled, right? So most of them are disabled like you have NTLM password synchronization, password synchronization from on-prem to directory TLS 1.2. So LDAP is also enabled, Kerberos, uh, <coughs> Kerberos uh, RC4 encryption is not enabled, but uh, Kerberos uh, arm, Harmoning uh, enabled and uh, yeah, I hope. Now you can see the option create is ready you can click on it it will ask you right following choices are final and won't able to change after this so the domain name subscription resource group virtual network and subnet if you're good with it click ok now uh, there are certain people right who say that how do we manage right this intra domain services the best way to manage it you just uh, create a, a virtual machine right let me let first deploy this one and then we'll talk about that uh, the best way is to manage the Microsoft intra domain services like deploy a virtual machine install our set tool in that virtual machines and then with that our set you can able to manage it right but to manage we have to first join that virtual machine into um, domain and then once we join in domain then we are able to log in, in that machines and deploy the our set It will take some time. 